So what is going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and welcome to the trailer you have all been waiting for. This is for the first Call of Duty Advanced Warfare map pack called Havoc. In this we have some new information and gameplay of the multiplayer maps, but you guys don't really care about that too much. You're here because you're excited for the Exo Zombies mode. And in that we have some new information and gameplay which I'm really, really hyped for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you the trailer first, then we're going to go ahead and break it down and give you some more key information. Make sure you're subscribing as I'll have gameplay up of all of the DLC on the 27th, so you don't want to be missing out on that. But let's go straight into the trailer, and I'll catch you guys afterwards. We're here to talk about Havoc. We have four brand new multiplayer maps. Exo Zombies. A new weapon and a new weapon variant. Urban is a very fast map. You're gonna want your closer range gear in this map, SMGs, shotguns, anything that you can to, to really move across that map. It's gonna have a lockdown moment where certain lanes are gonna open up so that sight lines and paths are dynamically changed halfway through the map. The war is going to take place in the Gobi Desert. It's in a blown up nuclear fusion facility. It's going to have three very distinct lanes that you can take advantage of. In the center of the map is going to be your very chaotic close quarters combat. There's also the map based streak, which is the decontamination drones. They're going to pop out and go attack the nearest enemies. Drift is in the Rockies. There's a carousel in the middle right below a nice overwatch position. You can really take advantage of these and scope out the center of the map, hop down into the carousel, rotate 360 with the carousel, really check all those corners. Halfway through the map, this big event happens where an avalanche comes down and takes out one of the whole streets of the map. So Sideshow is this really crazy, over-the-top map based on people's nightmares. Sideshow is a very open map. It's going to definitely cater to long-range players. There's a lot of really nice Overwatch positions. There's a big marquee in the middle of the map with this maniacal clown that tips his hat. And these large bombs come flying out of the map. And everyone's scrambling to get them and then use them on their enemies. Havoc DLC owners also get access to brand new weapon, the AE-4 Directed Energy Weapon. It's a directed energy assault rifle that's going to have increased mobility and handling that the player can use. And when you're using it, the only thing you really have to worry about is it overheating. Really excited about Exo Zombies. It's it's a brand new take on zombies. If you haven't seen a zombie in an exo suit doing a boost jump, doing a boost move, that alone really makes the mode stand out and really adds a ton of gameplay. There are four main characters in Exo Zombies. One is the maintenance man. His name is Oz. He's played by John Malkovic. The IT specialist, Lilith, played by Rose McGowan. Decker, the security guard, played by John Bernthal. And we have Mr. Khan the executive who's played by the incredible Bill Paxton. We have a really cool weapon called the Cell 3 Carterizer. It's basically like a triple-barreled, sawed-off energy shotgun. It has three barrels, and between every shot, it's going to rotate. You're going to see, like, one sight go down and one sight go up. Very excited about all this. <laughs> Can't wait for it to come out. It's going to be a, a blast to play. It is the most robust DLC offering today. Brand new Exo Zombies, as well as four new maps, a new weapon, and a new weapon variant. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Havoc is available on Xbox Live on January 27th. So there we have it guys, wow, the look at the Havoc DLC map pack and the Exo Zombies has blown 
my expectations out of the water. I wasn't really expecting too much from this, but this preview trailer alone gives us a really good insight into what we're going to be getting, and I'm really, really pumped and excited for this. So let's dive into the specifics with the Exo Zombies. So like traditional Treyarch Zombies, we had four main characters in this. We also have four main characters. These are not the actors playing themselves they are actually playing characters here and we should try to get used to these names so we have the maintenance man called Oz which is played by John Malkovich we have the IT specialist called Lulith which is played by Rose McGowan we have the security guard which is called Decker who's played by John Berthnall and then we have the executive who kind of looks over the entire operation which is called Mr. Khan who's played by Bill Paxson. This is a very very interesting take on the characters and I'm very very glad that they've gone for the effort to make these characters and through playing this map we should definitely learn a little bit more about them but we should try and get used to these names. So we've got Oz, Lulith, Decker and Mr. Khan. Now I was very skeptical hearing about this mode on how exactly it was going to work. Are we going to have rounds? Are we going to have points similar to what we're used to? And if you look very closely in the little snippets of gameplay, yes as you can see every character has a specific ID card set to them which was the ID card that we got kind of uh, teased about around about a month ago when we heard the sound clip for Exo Zombies. We can of course see that as they're shooting the zombies they're gaining points there's definitely a point system and if you look in the top left it's very very small but you will notice there is a round rather than a round counter which is in tally marks it's simply just a number with a kind of a black splodge behind it. Perks are also making a return in the Exo Zombies mode as we saw on the first clip if you see behind there you'll notice a perk machine looks very different to how we usually uh, remember it but this is a sleight of hand machine and you can see the icon for sleight of hand kind of floating above it and in the player's HUD you can see the sleight of hand icon is a bit weirdly placed on the right hand side above the weapon name and stuff but if that's where it's going to be that's where you're going to be able to see the uh, amount of perks that you have. Another really important thing which I haven't pointed out yet is that we have loads of different zombies we have zombies Zombies with exosuits, zombies without exosuits, zombies with yellow eyes, red eyes, blue eyes. These all possess different abilities. And I know for a fact that you can see in the trailer that the blue eyes zombies have some sort of electrical current coming out of them, which is crazy. So I suspect maybe that could almost maybe disable your exosuit movement for a bit. It could be have almost like an EMP effect or it could electrocute you. But this is absolutely crazy to think that there's so many different varieties of zombies. And I'm, I'm really 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 excited. In this screenshot here you can see a sort of weird looking power up on the bottom of the screen and that's something that you don't see all the time throughout all the clips so maybe power ups are making a return and that could maybe be an insta kill but it's weird that uh, when the person shoots the gun the power up starts to fade but as soon as he shoots the power up sort of re-energizes itself so that is very very weird and we'll have to find out what that does of course when we get the map but another really important thing is that Sledgehammer Games are bringing in their own sort of wonder weapons if you want to class them that in this and we have the the cell free catarizer which is almost like a really really interesting shotgun uh, a so, sort of energy shotgun that as you shoot it the barrel twists to reveal a different sort of elemental energy if you will like in one section you see sort of like a sort of fiery shot of something like that and then just the normal shotgun gauge shot so it's going to be very very interesting now for those of you that don't know the story behind this mode uh it simply is as this a dna bioweapon unexpectedly spawns a bloodthirsty ravenous mutant horde infecting an entire secret atlas research facility and sending personnel running for their lives following a failed evacuation four survivors untrained and underprepared must face the most vicious mutations ever unleashed this experience is all new to Advanced Warfare and it brings the movement, abilities and weapons of the exoskeleton into battle against the undead which is epic. And judging by the introduction of the characters, there's going to be a very similar intro cutscene to the map, similar to Call of the Dead from Call of Duty Black Ops, where we see the characters, we get a little bit of insight and we might see what happens to this Atlas facility in order for it to be what it is. Because when we see uh, the executive, you do see a massive explosion in the reflection of the window. And that could be uh, during this evacuation process, something might have happened which have caused them to stay here whilst everyone is running for their lives to try and get out of this Atlas facility. 
Now what this trailer doesn't show if there's going to be a pack-a-punch or some sort of machine to uh, make your weapons more powerful. I assume there will be because it just kind of not feel quite the same if there wasn't that sort of feature. But we don't know that for sure. And we don't know if there's going to be any sort of easter egg that we're used to in Triarch Zombies in this Exo Zombies. But who knows, I would absolutely love it if they put a big easter egg in this similar to what Triarch have done. If they have pack-a-punch and stuff like that. There are a few other little details details where you can get grenades, you can get uh, turrets, you can get all sorts of little different bits of equipment from multiplayer in this as well. We do see a supply drop in one section so I don't know if that drops you some uh, helpful additional equipment or if that drops some sort of different zombies or something like that but we only see a brief short scene of it. But there we go guys, that is going to be my analysis of the Exo Zombies trailer. If you guys have seen anything which I've missed in this, definitely put it down below in the comment section and let me know what you think of this down below in the the comment section as well like I mentioned at the start this comes out on January the 27th and I will have gameplay up on my channel on release day or even before then if I get the chance to so make sure you subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down below and make sure you follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well but if you enjoyed this breakdown spend a second out of your day to leave a like rating I am really really excited and I'm really really passionate for zombies so really hope this doesn't uh, disappoint but judging by this trailer it looks like we're going to be in for a very very awesome mode and I absolutely can't wait so thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys for another video soon